You may have noticed in a lot of my videos, I always show my hands in front of the screen when I talk about hand occlusion. And I thought I'd talk a little bit more about what that really means and why it's important and why I'm so impressed with this headset in particular. So notice that when I put my hand in front of this screen, it looks a little blurry and people are asking, is that normal? Does that look like that in the headset? And I'll tell you, yes, it does. So it is not perfect, but it is pretty cool. The fact that the sensor array in this device needs to be able to understand this is my hand in 3D and separate it from this virtual screen that's in front of me in real time at 90 frames a second. So what's actually involved to do that is quite a bit of tech, the R1 chip, the sensor array, etc. And it makes it a pretty smooth experience when you have your hands in front of the screen. Because if your hands were to disappear in front of the screen, which would be the easy way to do it because this is just a digital screen, right? And it doesn't have to worry then about anything else showing up in front or behind it, it's just there. The fact that it does show my hands here makes it feel more real. It feels more in place, right? Now, notice as I bring my foot up, it disappears. And that's kind of immersion breaking. It feels really weird, right? Even notice my little terrarium right here. It kind of disappears when I bring the screen down, right? Which, I mean, that's good in this case. You don't really want that to pop up in front of the screen. But as I move my hands around, yeah, it's kind of important that they show up. Otherwise, you lose that immersive factor. So as I keep playing this, watch as I move around. And I can see quite clearly my hands right here and get really up close to the screen and as I push through it my hand is still there and that's where it gets a little immersion breaking right there right but as I step back and go it's a pretty solid technological achievement to be able to do what this is actually doing right now and there were some questions about you know how good does it look when you're moving quickly so I'll just show you again so it's not perfect, right? But again, it's doing that at 90 hertz, 90 frames a second, trying to understand where my hand is. And this is a great example. You can see my plant there, right? Because there's a little bit of a delay like that, right? But as I go slowly, it does a pretty good job of occluding my hands in front of this virtual screen. So I just thought I'd explain that a little bit. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know.